Hello. Okay, we have two windows, two double glazed windows. Yes, I've taken them out of the, uh, I've taken them out of the window frame, but they are normal double glazed windows. We have anti shutter film protection. Put us in the windows, meant to stop it from falling to pieces, breaking, shattering. Uh, will it work? Let's find out. What we're going to do is, we're going to cover both of these, show you how to do it, cover both of these, let it dry for a couple of days, and then we're going to do a brick test, as if someone's thrown a brick through your window. Will it stop it? And a hammer test. You come and say hi. If you hear any noise and dodgy breathing, it's Bob. You gonna give me that ball? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, you on TV? Obviously, wash the window. I haven't cleaned this. I haven't cleaned this too much. There's no point. It's about to get smashed. Obviously, measure the plastic. It's a bit bigger everywhere. You back? Give it. Give it up. Give us it. Right. Okay, okay. Now, you will not believe this. It tells you in the instructions to wet this, which I thought is ridiculous, and I didn't do it. Yeah, I should. I should note first of all, my whole house is covered in this, so this test is for me. I can't wait to see if it works. But anyway, you do have to soak the window. So, get a old sock. <laughs> you could get a cloth, I suppose. Anyway, you don't want to soak it, but you just do. You know, you just want to quickly run over it. Make sure the streaks everywhere. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Don't get it too wet, but maybe I should dry that a little bit. You want to have it scattered about, you know? Little, little droplets everywhere. Okay. And yes, this is a lot more difficult on a window that's fitted in the house. So you make your hand, especially if it's a big one. Do, do, do. Right, sticky back. Do, 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 do. It's a straight edge. Will that go straight? Yes, it will. Let it just stick itself a little bit. You get this in the pack. Nicely run it along. Push all the water underneath. Do, 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 do. Now this bit does take a while. Basically just doing it over and over and over and over. I suppose it's pretty self it's self-explanatory, I suppose. You just wet it, peel it back, push the water out. No problem at all. it is, again, it's more difficult if it's in the frame because these edges would be catching up and stuff, so you need your knife to cut the corners. Turn it in the carpet. Makes it lie a lot easier. Maybe I should have cleaned the window easier. I wouldn't be saying any of these marks be easier to see if I've got bumps and stuff. I don't know why. Do, 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 do. One second. Yeah, I got a ball. That's cheating. That's cheating. Come back here at the start. Come back to the start. Right now you go. And that's it, to be honest. You just keep going and going and going. Now, I really should have cleaned this because I can feel lumps underneath and stuff. But, trust me, it'll work. Keep doing it. So, yes, when you're in the, when you're in the frame, the frame's sticking up, so obviously you just want to go to the corner, get the point where the corner is, turn your knife around, and that will cut perfectly where the corner is. And then you can push it in the edges. You know what it is? Tiny helps with eggs here. I'm telling you how to suck eggs, never mind. Cut the sides again. If it was in the frame, you'd put the knife in the angle, cut along the frame. I don't need to do that. So, the key to doing it, um, I'm no expert, I've only done a, a, a few bits, but the obvious key to doing it is water. Wet the window a decent amount first. I've seen a few people have these on the houses, uh, and you can see that. Uh, I mean, people can't. Some people are no good at DIY. It looks terrible. You can see it in my off. Uh, you don't want to see it. Water, water, water. Sorry, water for all you posh talking folk. Good as new. 
Okay, I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to do both sides of the spindle and I'm going to leave it for a couple of days. Let it really dry out. And then we're going to test it. Because like I say, my whole house is covered, so I'm very interested. So, for you, it's going to be a matter of seconds. For me, I'll be back in two days. We're back. We're back. It's been two days now. I have them here. This one has both sides done. This one has both sides done. But, but, right. Now, my house is fine because every window in my house has an opening window in the window. Do you know what I mean? But I did put this on for somebody a few weeks back. And there was just one big, it was just one big pane of glass. It didn't open. So in case of a fire, I left a piece overhanging like this. Showed them where it was. Something happens and you need to get out and you need to break the window because on the inside, you need to break the window and get out. Uh, it'll just peel off. I hoped. I'm sure it will. So that's why I put this one on. We're going to peel this off now. You're going to find out with me if it works. I mean, it, it will work. So that's one thing we want to find out. So do that now. Easy enough. Okay, it does come off. Right. Take that off. Ow! <laughs> right, first question. You can take it back off if you need to. So leave a little lip hanging out. A little over, leave a little overhang somewhere. You'll be able to get it, do it, if you need to. Now, next thing I want to know for myself. All my windows in the house have this. And my shed now. So, this side is done. This side is not. For my house, I've done all the insides. I might do all the outsides as well. I don't know yet. But for the minute, all the insides are done. So the test I want to know is, if I throw a brick from this side, which will break this bit, obviously, will it come through here? That's the reason I put it on to stop. Um, not that I've got problems with anybody, but it's just... There's always, you know, if you've ever just lost your temper so bad, you don't care what you do, you don't care what happens, you don't care. There's people put windows out all the time for whatever reason. So it's just good to know. Plus, you know, clever. So we're going to test it. We're going to throw a brick against this one, see if it comes through, see what damage it does. Hopefully not. And then the other pane with the two sides that are both done, uh, we're just going to ham we're just going to tackle the hammer, try and get through it. I mean, we will get through these. Guaranteed you will get through them. But for me, the whole purpose of them is to slow someone down and to make, for them to make noise so you can react. You know, if someone throws a brick through a window that can be in that, in, in your house within seconds. By the time you hear it and you wake up, they're already in the house. You don't want that. You want to be able to... Anyway, let's go. Okay, we have it secured in place. I have two cameras down there. Because if you've seen my wire shield video, you've seen the camera I used didn't work, so I have two in place. And we have a brick. I'm not even joking when I say I've covered every window in my house with this. Better have this, better work, it's better stop this brick because of the time and effort and the money. Ooh, it went through, it went through. Oh no, wait a minute though, wait a minute though. Let's pull the brick out of the way. Pull this backwards. Hmm. Let's turn it around. Ooh. Okay, I'll be honest, it's punctured a little bit there. There's a tiny bit. But it is all stuck together. Okay, that's pretty good. That is good. Okay, I'm saying that's I'm saying that's a pass. There's a, there's a little bit there. But bear in mind this is a small pane as well. If it was bigger, it would be the plastic obviously would be bigger. It wouldn't be able to come off as much because obviously if you see it's hit here and it's only two inches to the side. If it was a massive thing hit in the middle, I don't think that could have happened. So I'm going to say that's a win. You can't just, it wouldn't just go straight through. Make it that odd, tiny little thing. 
But compared to the whole class being all over the living room and a bit hitting somebody. That's a win. Okay, it has burst for the other side. But as you can see, it's still nicely in place. Again, it's not just if this was if this didn't have this on, you could just whack it a few seconds and you've got all the pieces out. So it's yeah. Quite a bit of mess to clean up. And since I have dogs and cats sometimes, yeah, I'm gonna have to clean this up a lot. Um well that worked perfect from what I can see. Obviously, it, it's not 100%, but it stops massive damage. It slows people down so much. Good peace of mind as well. And I got this from eBay. Uh, I think it's 100 micron or something it's called. I don't know what that means. But I think it was 175 or 180 you can get micron, um, which is anti shatter proof or anti bomb proof. Or I don't know what it is. Obviously, it's a lot thicker. This is the cheap version. Yeah, so that was, to be honest, that was more for me. I wanted to know what happens. But I can't, I, if you've got a spare few quid or you just, you know, look, look what day and age we live in, you're not happy with, you just want to have a bit more peace of mind. eBay. I think it's called Anti, it's Window Film Anti Shah, something like that. 100 micron, I'm sure. I'll write it on the screen if it's different. What I've got. Not 100%. But it works really well. Highly recommend it. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Hang on a minute. What am I doing? This is an air gun channel. I'm going to clean up. And I'm going to get a, a, a gun and shoot it as well. Back in a minute. Now, if you look at this thing, this is the side that I hit. And it's the same one. It's the same as the brick. It's burst through, but it's keeping all the pieces together. So, again, it's brilliant. Okay, right. Top it here. A few cracks, but there's, there's no damage here. Same on the other side. The Gamble Fox. Gonna load it up. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Just gonna shoot it twice. It's hollow point pallet. There we go. And then an armor piercing pallet. I'm expecting to go straight through, but. I'm an aircon channel and I wasn't gonna shoot it. What's that about? Okay. Point blank. Meh, yeah, who cares? Hollow point first. Oh, it's actually, it hasn't gone through. It hit it there. I can feel a bit of the glass, but it didn't go through. Nothing on the other side. Wow, what was that, like a foot away? That's a powerful air rifle. Didn't even go through. Okay. Uh, armor piercing. We'll go right here. In this triangle here. Look. Oh, you can see more of a, a, a point. Same again. Shattered it all underneath. Didn't go through. Not a thing on the back. Well, conclusion time. Brilliant. Honestly, I can't. I'm so, so relieved it works. I was surprised if Rick actually came through. But like I say, I don't think it would on a big one. But still, it came through and all the pieces stuck together. Nothing happened. Same with the hammer. Came through, of course it did. Stuck together. It would come through if you... You know what? I'll show up. Obviously, you can get through it. The whole point for me is to stop one attack or to slow down an attacker that's trying to get it. Works perfect. Very cheap as well. For what it is, it works out. Come on, what I paid. I did it over the space of the over a year in pieces before I started on YouTube. Um, I've just finished the last one. About £200 for the whole house. 
I mean, it's a small house, but it's not much. See, you've got a decent size window. The price of a takeaway. Just don't get a takeaway this week. There you go, you've got a window done. Highly recommend it. Well, awesome. Okay, that's highly recommended. Right. Now, for anyone else who knows me, oh, anyone else, anyone else. Right, guess what, guess what, guess what? A new gun has been ordered. <laughs> CO2 gun. It's a rifle. Uh, it takes 88 gram cartridges. It's, I've, I'm lovely and warm in here. I know the CO2 gets messed up in the cold, doesn't matter. It's going to be so accurate. And I've got it for free, given to me for Christmas. Oh my God. We'll go into that when I get the gun. Brilliant. And one other thing. Now, this could be a scam. This could be fake. Uh, I probably shouldn't even mention it. But I've been speaking to some, some company. I'm not going to talk, say who and what. Got in touch with us a few days ago. And they want to give us a scope to test out, to, to review. And it's an expensive one. And to keep. You have to do a review video. A review video. Now, it seems legit. The email comes from the actual website, so it seems completely legit. But we'll wait and see. But uh, yeah, I'm over the moon. Like, I'm a tiny little fat, fat guy, big fat guy, tiny little YouTube person. And they reached out to me. So anyway, that's, that's the two things that are coming soon over the next few weeks, hopefully. The gun's definitely coming. And the best thing is, if there's gun, I get this gun. And the scope somebody isn't what it looks like. Uh, it's going on this gun. My accuracy is going to go through the roof. Thought I was good with that FX streamline. Wait and see, boys. Every challenge is getting smashed. Okay. Have yourself a damn good weekend. I believe for you it is Saturday now. I think I'm going to put this out on Saturday. Have fun. Catch you all later.